Now to Prince Harry. Hours after withdrawing his High Court libel claim against the Mail on Sunday, Prince Harry has arrived at an award ceremony in Los Angeles. Well, what else do you do on a Friday night? The Duke of Sussex says he wants to focus on the safety of his family and his legal action against the Home Office. Now, he was suing the Mail on Sunday over an article about his publicly funded security arrangements when visiting the UK. So he'll now have to pay legal costs for the Mail on Sunday, as well as his own, and uh, that could hit, we think, about three quarters of a million pounds. It's an expensive mistake to make, isn't it? Mm. Let's bring in our royal correspondent Cameron Walker for the latest. Well, I hope he had a good night at the awards. Um, but, my goodness, what a big legal bill he's now going to have to pay. I know. I mean, the whole awards have been completely overshadowed, I think, by the fact he has decided to pull out of this libel case against the Mail on Sunday. The Mail reported that £750,000 Prince Harry's going to have to pay in legal costs. I actually spoke to Prince Harry's spokesperson last night, and they were saying that it's way too early to speculate as to the kind of amount of money Prince Harry is going to have to pay, but they certainly did not dispute it's going to be a pretty hefty legal bill for him. Uh, this all obviously relates to an article written about his separate case against the Home Office and his security arrangements, where the Mail on Sunday alleged that Prince Harry had tried to spin the narrative to put him in a more favourable light and perhaps to make the public feel sorry for him. Um, Prince Harry then sued the paper for libel, saying that it was an attack on his honesty and integrity and would undermine his charity work and efforts to tackle misinformation online. Right, so why is he pulled out now at the very last minute? Well, yesterday, papers were due to be filed from both sides, Prince Harry and Mail on Sunday, for this case to go to a trial. Prince Harry decided not to allow his lawyers to give papers to the judge because then, of course, all these papers would then be in the public domain. So we can speculate as to as to why he perhaps did that. Maybe he thought he wouldn't win the case, or there were certain details in those papers which he didn't want in the public domain. So, uh, so probably he never thought it would come to that. Maybe he thought the Mail on Sunday would settle. Well, he wanted a summary judgment. So he wanted the judge to essentially rule in Prince Harry's favour without the need to go to a trial. In December, the judge said that the Mail on Sunday could potentially win this case with the honest opinion uh, defence. Prince Harry's spokesperson still, still uh, disputes the honest opinion defence because they are saying that the article in question was in the news section of the, of the newspaper rather than the opinion section of the newspaper. He, they also say now that uh, Prince Harry's priority is the safety of his family rather than, and I quote, the proceedings giving a continued platform to the Mail's false claims all those years ago. Of course, the Mail has always... Uh, denied any wrongdoing. Meanwhile, as we keep saying, partying away last night, why, what was it? Legends of Aviation? Legends of Aviation Awards, yeah. So, reportedly, it was... Is he a legend of aviation? Well, reportedly, it was John Travolta who was pushing for this. The Grease star, remember that famous photograph of him dancing with Princess Diana at the White House in the 1980s? And it's thought that the two of them do have a pretty close friendship. He is part of this um, Living Legend Legends of Aviation Hall of Fame. Prince Harry did serve two tours of Afghanistan. He is a helicopter pilot. He's obviously done a lot of work for the military when it comes to the Invictus Games, military veterans, and, of course, countless um, training missions as well. Some people are perhaps saying, why is it that a prince of the realm is in the same category as somebody such as Buzz Aldrin, the second yes. man on the moon? So, and lots of people are saying, does he actually deserve this award? Clearly, the, the judges in this case do believe that because he was at the award ceremony last night. I mean, he is an aviator. Uh, he's done his bit. But so have hundreds of other military uh, helicopter pilots and things. Just extraordinary being a legend. Of aviation. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it certainly is. We've got a, the Amazon founder Je um, Jeff Bezos is also in this Hall of Fame, as well as uh, yeah, a number of other. Edge of space, didn't he? Yeah, he, he did. And Prince Harry flew helicopters. So I think a lot of people are saying that it's now perhaps it's making the um, Living Legends of Aviation Awards not as perhaps prestigious as it mm. was, but obviously they believe so, so we'll have to wait and see oh, what the fallout all, is. Not us all talking about it. Yeah. You'd have mm. heard of it otherwise, I suppose. No. He seems to just mm. get awards for being Prince Harry, doesn't he? He looks yes. very dapper in his tuxedo last yeah. night oh, when he was arriving, so we'll see if we can get some photos of that yeah, yeah, next hour. Know. OK, Cameron, thanks very much indeed.